I feel like a failure. So I have a stupid basic question. What is the real difference between a, a variable and a non-rigid constant symbol? So a variable picks up object and the other picks function. That's the only distinction between them? Essentially, that's the only distinction, but they are of different types. A non-rigid constant symbol was a constant symbol that, uh, sorry, a rigid constant. I, I, I'm sorry, ask your question again. I think I misheard something. So we have on one hand variables. Yes. And we used to have them from very, um, from a, a long period of time. But you introduced this non-rigid constant. Yes. So what's the difference between okay. them? Okay. From what that you have said, I understood the variable picks out uh, objects, right? <coughs> and the non-constant, uh, non-rigid, sorry, non-rigid constant picks out functions, intentional functions. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference? That's a yeah. difference. That's, it's a major difference. The, the, the thing is, the, the variables have as their values just objects in the domain. The uh, uh, think of a, a non-rigid constant symbol as a parameterized thing like that. What it has as its value is parameterized by the world you're in. And the machinery of modal logic, unless you do hybrid logic, has no uh, uh, mechanism for talking about the world you're in. About what? The world you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we handle it by having two different types of uh, symbols in the language, one of which is world dependent, one of which isn't. But we can do that by indexing, right? By fixing something to that world. Yes. It's not the same machinery. Well, it, 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 is, different. it is the same machinery, of course. Without having the machinery of quantification. 
And well, you have there is no, no distinction to be made in terms of white versus narrow, but here you have the distinction between rigidity and non rigidity. Yes, yes. But I mean, you haven't seen any quantification here because uh, the, the, the business of scope is what's really operative. So lambda does not work as a, as a quantifier. It does not work as a quantifier. By the way, something I should say. Um, I never said what the underlying modal logic was. The one case I did it as a deuce k. Um, if you formulate this for k or for t or for d, this is decided. A decidable uh, system. If you formulate it for s4, it's not decidable. If you formulate it for s5, it's not decidable even if you don't have equality. So, What's going on here is a little subtle. Uh, you get some of the effect of first order logic, but w without the actual quantifiers being there. But if the lo modal logic is simple enough, it's more like proposition. That doesn't actually answer your question. But, uh, but I, I, I'd say uh, rigidity and wide scope are simply different notions. And it is a fact of the matter that uh, the two are coincide.